Georgia District Attorney Fannie Willis charged Donald Trump under Georgia's Racketeering and Corrupt Organizations Act, otherwise known as RICO. RICO sounds important. It sounds nefarious, and it is. The left loved using RICO against Donald Trump. She also used the same law to indict the rapper Young Thug of founding a criminal street gang. Six total charges, conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, two counts participation in criminal street gang activity, three counts violating Georgia Controlled Substance Act, possession of a firearm while committing a felony, possession of a machine gun. That trial began this week. And prosecutors plan to use his rap lyrics against him, much to the anger of the left, specifically the ladies of The View. The other problem with it is that it, it, we talk about dog whistles. This is a bit of a dog whistle. Yes, you know? I believe And so. I think that if, if you don't want to taint a jury, yeah. d don't do it like this. Don't do this. Because what you're, what you're basically saying is, see, <coughs> he's probably guilty. Daryl Cohen's here, former assistant attorney in Fulton County, Georgia. Daryl, it's good to see you. We appreciate it. What do you make of this trial, at least, being a little bit of a, a dry run, a preview of using this sort of very novel and very broad Georgia law against a rapper and then against a former president? Well, this is very unusual. It's happened before, by the way, when the city of Atlanta had school teachers that were charged with racketeering. But Fani is reaching out so that she can absolutely prosecute everyone that may have committed a crime in something in some other place other than Fulton County, Georgia. Otherwise, she would be restricted to only prosecute crimes that happened here in Fulton County. So she's been able to use RICO to do that. And that's important because that brings in the broad scope of defendants that are left. Yeah, no, it, it sort of, in, as I understand it, is a pretty unique statute to Georgia in terms of how broad it is and how it allows prosecutors this kind of discretion. We'll get to the fact that, you know, the left loves using RICO against Donald Trump, hates it against Young Thug. Um, that's sort of the political system we have right now that you cheer on your own team regardless of the facts. But if we watch the Young Thug trial, um, and it, a lot of it goes around his, his lyrics, does that sort of give us a preview of how juries would look at sort of these very novel theories? Well, it seems to me that people are forgetting that lyrics are nothing more and nothing less than words. And so words are admissible in court, and a jury can listen to it from the prosecution side, and then they analyze it, and then they hear cross-examination and whatever witnesses, if any, from the defense side. So this is really, in my opinion, Shakespeare, much ado about nothing. It's going to come in some way or another, and the defense can do with it as they see fit. And the jury is going to pay attention and like Young Thug or not like Young Thug. And in my view, that's going to be the crux of what their verdict is ultimately going to be. And I want to point out, this is the longest running trial in the state of Georgia. It took 11 months to select a jury. Unbelievable. Took 11 months to select the Young Thug jury. How long, uh, God, how long does that mean it's going to take to, to select the Donald Trump jury? Maybe 11 years if it ever gets there. <laughs> this is just so much that's involved that is so unique and unusual yeah. that they're throwing in the kitchen sink on both sides. This is not just a prosecution issue, not just a defense issue. It's a case issue. You know, I got to tell you, that is a fascinating analysis, especially bringing in 11 months for jury selection. Uh, we're just about 11 months to the election. So uh, it tells you just sort of how things um, could play out. Fascinating. Daryl, we appreciate the expertise. Thank you. Fascinating. Thanks we'll for talk having soon. me. Have, a, Coming have up. a great year. Thanks so much. Yeah, you too as well. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.